welcome back to this special edition of a Thursday Night Blitz. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird for us, but <laughs> it's football. And for our next game, Murr traveled to Clinton High School. That's right, Clinton High School, the home of the Arrows. And Clinton's Caleb Miller is going to start, start things off. He rolls left, hits Montavious Warren for a 12-yard gain. So he gets in down to field goal territory. That would set up a 25-yard field goal. Clinton up 3 nothing. And then when the arrows get the ball back, they will go to their ground game. Jeremy Mack busts up the middle for an 11-yard gain. That's the first down. Warren tries the right side for an 8-yard gain as they're getting close to the end zone. Two plays later, Miller keeps it for a one-yard touchdown. Arrows go up 10-0. That's all they would need because Clinton shuts out Murrah for a 23-0 victory at home. All right, let's go back up north, South Panola, making the trip down to play Germantown. The Tigers, they're 6-1 and one on the year, having a great season. And it's for reasons like this. Interior Draper just throws this jump ball to camera right, right, comes down with it. Looking like Allen Iverson on Tyran Lou right there, too. Tyron Lou. Germantown trying to get points on the board. Look how high Colton Gardner sends this one almost to the moon, but Ojavian Francis catches it. Even with defensive pass interference later in the drive on fourth and short in the red zone, Mavericks, they go for it. Trey McCullough gets dropped short, hits so hard his helmet falls off. So Tigers take over. Nate Harris gets a handoff. He's just out running everybody. He gets good field position, and he takes it in for the touchdown on the very next play. South Panola wins easy, 35-7. to And let's stay up north where the Bruins of St. Joe, they try to avoid the fury. The Pisgah Dragons, Bruins, first drive. Brock Morris drops back, finds Andrew Stanley for a nice game, but they would punt. So the Dragons first drive. Dylan Usher, he gets the snap, but offset up the ball. Bruins, next possession. Morris drops back again, and this time finds Keegan Helms. That would lead to Morris calling his own number. He takes it in for the touchdown, but the Dragons, they're going to answer. And Kaishan Gates, he is a player. He takes the handoff. Goes up the middle, just absolutely untouched for the Dragons. Touchdown, Pisgah. They take this one, 33-17. All right, now we head to Nasoba Central, where they travel to take on Canton. And, man, this was a high-scoring game as well. As we take a look at the highlights, Eli Anderson is going to start things off, handing it off to Jarquez Hunter. And guess what? Guess what? Look at Jarquez. He just finds the seam and he jets all the way to the end zone for the touchdown there. And Canton quarterback Jacobian Morgan, he would get sacked following the touchdown as in the Sober Central's defense answering the call as they had the big lead. And Jacobian Morgan, though, is going to throw it to Tyquan Henderson as they get the first down. Wonderful catch there on the sideline. Definitely, Jacobian Moore, he's going to hand it off to Jaden Burns. And actually, it's actually a pass. That would be a touchdown. Great catch there. The score is 20. Canton, the Shoba Central 21 at that point. But the Shoba, they're going to win 56-34 of a Canton high-scoring game out there tonight. So we got a little appetizer tonight on Thursday Night <laughs> yeah, You're going to have to wait till tomorrow to see the whole thing go down. Right. We'll have, we'll have a lot more games or some uh -huh. tonight. Have a lot more tomorrow night for Blitz 16. But that's, all, that's it for our special edition. We'll send it back to you guys. Troy, I know you're going to be excited for the game of the week. Callaway and Ridgeland? Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right.